Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. I am in Disney Village today, and as you're watching this, it's the 7th of January, 2022, which is unfortunately gonna be the last day of Planet Hollywood there behind me. So I thought we'd go in, have one last meal at this iconic restaurant in Disney Village, is Disneyland Paris. So yeah, come along. It's a very cold evening here at Disneyland Paris today in Disney Village, but you can see the shining planet here with Planet Hollywood's very iconic building over here. As I mentioned earlier, this restaurant will be closing today. It's the final day of its operating here in Disneyland Paris at Disney Village, unfortunately, as I said. Having said that though, it's never been one of my favorite restaurants, but I know for a lot of people, especially people who have allergies like gluten allergies, etc., or even like vegan and vegetarians, it's always been a really good option. But personally, in all the years that this has been around, in Disney Village. I've probably only eaten inside Planet Hollywood here maybe twice, three times, four at a push. I do still remember my very first time eating here though and that was in 2011, over a decade ago, about 11 years ago and that was for my 21st birthday celebration trip that I came here with my family. We just went in quickly before we headed into the parks on that trip because it was in July. July, obviously summer is normally quite a busy time of year and it was particularly busy that July as well. But yeah, I don't remember particularly loving it that first time. None of my family did either, but it was a nice and reasonably priced meal. Since then, I have been back a couple of times. I do actually also have a full video review of Planet Hollywood, a recent one from just a few months ago with my friend who is vegan as well. So check that out if you want to, if you're interested to see what kind of vegan and vegetarian food they used to offer as well. Well, like I said, unfortunately, this will be closing today. It's the last day of it being open. But thankfully today, whilst I'm filming this, it is still open. So with that, we've got Planet Hollywood's logo again here in front of us. And I do actually really enjoy the walk up up to the planet. It's the little things, right? Twinkling lights everywhere, got the blue lights, red little walkway thing. I almost feel like a celebrity, planet Hollywood. And here we are, I've just come through from that door. It's actually so nice to be in the warmth inside. So you, as you can see, there's photos of loads of celebrities. Planet Hollywood is a chain restaurant. They have them in other countries as well. It's obviously not a Disney restaurant. It's not unique here. You can even see the floor, it says Planet Hollywood with the star as well. Here we've got Slytherin. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a Harry Potter fan. Are you a Slytherin? Are you a Gryffindor? There you go. We've got Malfoy here as well from the Prisoner of Azkaban. They're playing the football at the moment because the World Cup is on. So that makes sense. But um, yeah, this is the entrance that you get when you first come in. They also have some like old school games here as well. There's another football one here. Um, Aero Fighters number two it says here. You can actually play them if you want to as well. You just have to put a Euro in. It's either one Euro, two Euro or uh, 0.5 euros so yeah oh that looks fun actually I love old school games it's incredibly loud in here especially because the football is on as well so I'm gonna go and give my name and wait for the tables Thank you so much well because I'm one person it was actually no wait at all I saw loads of families tell being told that they have to wait about 10-15 minutes for their table but that's one of the benefits of coming solo actually but yeah you can see some of the rooms here some of the costumes of different celebrities different movies I am sat I am on the first floor so when I put you on here and the staff member did say to, if you want the menu, basically you can see the drinks here, this is the drinks menu. They do loads of cocktails as well. So actually this used to be quite a popular place for loads of people to come. They wanted some nice drinks over here. They do some non-alcoholic ones as well. But to get the actual food menu, I'm just going to scan this. There you go, you've got the phone here. You can choose what language you want it in. I'm just going to go English. Planet Hollywood Paris, it's loading. I think this is actually the only Planet Hollywood left in Paris. Oh, look at these. We might have to get one of these as well because they're obviously quite uh, famous in the Planet Hollywood, one of the milkshakes. I've never had one of these crazy milkshakes before. But yeah, you can see the drinks first, actually. One really useful thing is that up here, they've got this sign where you can say exactly what kind of food you're looking for. So whether it's um, allergy-friendly food, whether it's for kids, this one is a kid's menu. This one is like the burgers. This one is show only like allergy stuff. But um, I just want to show literally everything. So I think I'm just going to scroll through and choose something. Oh, VIP platter, that looks fun. Comes in that Ferris wheel, nachos, looks good. Last time I had uh, this, our world famous uh, chicken crunch, and I was quite disappointed by it actually. I didn't think it was <laughs> worthy of being famous personally. So I'm not going to get that. But if you want to see what that's like, check out my uh, Planet Hollywood video from about six, seven months ago. Five cheese dip, buffalo wings, grills and specials, or oh, veggie sizzling fajitas. That looks really lovely. The fajitas just generally look nice. There's a lot going on. They offer loads of American style food, as you can imagine, veggie kebab burger. Mac attack burger, I think, is what I'm probably going to go for. I love mac and cheese. I love burgers. It's an iconic, you know, food item to get here as well. 23.95 euros for this one, so 
Yeah, I'm just going to add that to my favourites for now. And then they've got plenty of sides as well. You can get a small Caesar salad, homemade mashed potatoes, trio of assorted fries, Mexican rice, that looks good, white rice, coleslaw, and then some homemade sauces as well. And then desserts, Lord have mercy, look at all the desserts. Fine Hollywood is known to do like really cool fun desserts as well as milkshakes. I mean, look at these. Lord have mercy. I think, like I said, I'm probably, I'm going to try if I've got enough space later on. I do want to get one of these fun milkshakes. Oh, I've just spotted this and this looks really good as well. The Kung Pao noodles, 21.95 euros. Now I'm not sure if I want this with a burger. I feel like the burger makes more sense because it's more of a traditionally kind of Hollywood food item. But this does look really good, doesn't it? I think I'm going to go for the burger, guys. I just feel like being in Canada, Hollywood makes me want a burger. Also, they're currently playing Shakira whenever wherever a song that I haven't listened to in a long long time but it makes sense again we're in Planet Hollywood a lot of Hollywood stars a lot of famous singers also whilst we're here I want to give a big shout out to one of my lovely viewers Amy who just came up and said hi to me that she's also dining here so yeah thank you Amy so much for watching the video so I've just ordered my food but I wanted to show you this uh, plate mat as well it's not actually really a plate mat it's like under the table but we've got a variety of different Hollywood stars uh, their childhood photos class of the year so it's fun to kind of look at them, their childhood photos or their teenage photos. That's definitely Tom Cruise, right? Surely. And try and guess like which celebrities they are. Now I'm not the best at celebrity guessing anyway. Maybe that's not him. I actually don't know. But some of them are a bit more noticeable than others. It's a fun little thing to do. Every table kind of gets it, as you can see on the side as well. And I want to show you a quick view of what I can see as well from this room at least. One thing I noted, well firstly you've got TVs everywhere, but one thing I noted is that over there they seem to have an outfit from like a popular movie or something but what I can see right now is just Minnie's ears so it's like almost a hidden Mickey which is fun it's something that you're not going to get in any other planet Hollywood that's not in Disney you know for now I've got my apple juice already of course mostly you probably had guessed that I was going to go for my trusty apple juice Love it. I forgot to say, I also did order a starter. I decided to go for the Texas for starters because I had these last time and they were pretty good. 11 at 50 euros and they have actually just arrived as well. So there you go, quite a big portion. The starters here are quite big, to be fair. I feel like you can easily share them if you want to. You've got the tomatoes and your onions on the side. And if you want to see exactly what's inside, I'm just going to actually read it for you. So it's crispy mini tortillas topped with barbecue chicken, sorted onions and mixed cheeses with sour cream and pico de gallo. So there you go. That's what this is. I cannot wait to eat these. I'm actually really hungry. So I'm not the biggest fan of barbecued sauce. I just remember really enjoying these last time. Hopefully they're going to be as nice as I remember them to be. They are lovely. Very cheesy. They do have a bit of a kick to them. So if you don't like spicy food, maybe not the one for you. Da, da, da. They're playing so many old school famous songs here. But yeah, the chicken's really nice too. I feel like the chicken here. This is the one that should be world famous, not the one that you can get that's actually called world famous. So yeah, I'm going to try my best to eat as much as possible of this uh, starter. Now, I probably shouldn't have gotten a starter because I'm going to want to try and get myself one of those milkshakes. But I just can't help myself. I prefer savory foods to sweet stuff. So it might have to be the case that we don't get the drink at the end. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try my best to eat a lot today. So I finished the Texas Tostados, the whole thing. Lord have mercy on me when my burger arrives. That was a big portion. I feel like that could easily be a meal. Like that could be your one meal if that makes sense rather than a starter. But yeah, it was delicious. Probably my last time having it because this place is closing down. I enjoyed it. It actually wasn't as spicy as I thought as well either. So I feel like anyone can probably enjoy it. It's not the kind of thing that, you know, picky eaters might not enjoy. I suppose unless they just don't like vegetables. Maybe some people might still not enjoy it. But um, yeah, just waiting for my burger now. It is incredibly loud. Here's a quick look at my view again as you can see loads of decors everywhere and then almost every table is taken as well even though I am currently eating at about 6 p.m. so not like the busiest time of night it is still very busy it's a popular place here at Hollywood because it has a lot of things for families and kids especially like picky, picky eaters can get their chicken nuggets or burgers etc and it's also reasonable prices as I said especially for a sit-down restaurant it is you know on par with like Rainforest Cafe or an ex diner where they sell mainly American food but at reasonable prices whereas if you eat inside the parks especially at the table service restaurants inside the parks you're going to be paying often double the amount and just like that my main course has arrived Lord have mercy it is big it smells really nice as well so in there you can see the mac and cheese there's some onions in there some bacon of course the meat as well they did ask me how I wanted it I normally go for medium I always appreciate it when they ask you because I just don't really like well done meat at all so there you go that's the burger it comes with a side of fries you got some of your salad as 
as well on the side. And also, of course, I decided to ask for some mayonnaise as always, which the cast member brought very quickly. But um, yeah, this is the burger. It's a pretty good looking burger, I have to say. Quite big as well. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a taste test. Of course, hand sanitizing my hands first. Always have to remember doing that. But um, yeah, here's my plate again, so you can kind of get an idea of the size. It is a pretty huge portion. Maybe because it's Planet Hollywood, you know, Hollywood, America. Oh my God. I always get excited about the next song because they have so many random famous songs coming through but here's another look again at the burger. It's um, I've got high hopes for this burger actually. I am quite picky when it comes to burgers. I'm very like choosy and quite harsh when I come to criticize burgers but this one, this one so far has a good feel to it. The bun's very soft which I appreciate. It smells really nice. Let's give it a taste test. Okay, wow. I have to say the meat. It's delicious. The meat itself is really good, really nice and juicy, nice and seasoned as well. You can taste the mac and cheese a little bit as well, not so much actually. You would think with it being called Mac Attack Burger, you'd be able to taste the mac and cheese a bit more. Maybe it was just the first bite of this. I'm going to take another bite. Still not really getting much of a mac and cheese taste, but I got the onion flavor taste and the onion adds quite a lot to the burger actually. So yeah, I'm going to carry on with this burger and let you know at the end what I think of it. But so far so good. I'm really enjoying it actually. Before I go, let me taste a quick fire as well. The fries are good. Nothing too special, but nice enough. And the uh, mayonnaise is gonna add a lot to it. Oh my god, the juice is literally, the mac and cheese is coming down from this burger. This is a good but messy burger. I'm a fan. I'm glad I came here. I would say it's probably better than the burgers at Annette's Diner. Personally, yes, I did say that. They are playing Aladdin now. Because Aladdin and Jasmine, they're also famous. You know, they're part of Hollywood anyway. I have finished my Mac Attack burger. It was delicious. I really did enjoy it. I thought the meat was great. I love that, you know, they asked me how I wanted it and it was genuinely mediumly cooked as well. So I could see the red in there, which is what I enjoy in my burgers personally. But obviously, if you don't like that, you can ask them for it to be well done, medium rare, whatever you wish to. The more I ate of it as well, the more I could actually start to taste a little bit of the mac and cheese flavor as well. It wasn't strong enough, I think, because the meat itself was quite flavorsome. So I mainly tasted the meat, the onions, and then the bacon as well. This is why I, why I don't like bacons generally in burgers because I feel like bacons have such a strong taste that when you put them in a burger all you taste and that ends up being just the bacon in my opinion anyway personally I'm just not a fan of bacon generally especially not in burgers so midway through the burger I just took my bacon out and had it without the bacon it tasted better much better because I could actually taste the meat taste a bit of the mac and cheese and the onion as well and I think yeah I just don't think the bacon was necessary for a burger of this store the burger that's called the mac attack you kind of really want to you want to be able to at least taste some of the mac and cheese right and the, the 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 bacon really took away from it so without the bacon better but it's not like you can order this anyway because Planet Hollywood unfortunately is closing but I wanted to give you my thoughts either way but you might be sad to know that I have already asked for the bill I unfortunately just I can't have the shake even though I would like to it's just too much food for me sadly but really maybe you should thank me because as I said this Planet Hollywood is closing today on the 7th of January so it's not like you can come to Disneyland Paris and experience the same shake as I do and the shakes do look good I can tell you if I were to get one I would probably go for the chocolate one and it, it probably would have looked amazing but at least now you don't have to watch me eat something that probably would have also tasted nice and then not be able to get it in Disneyland Paris you know I'm doing you a favor right anyway let's have a look at the bill very quickly so my total came to 41 euros 80 which really isn't bad at all considering I got two apple juices you can see I did get myself another one over here so two drinks I got the tostados and then a mac attack and of course with my annual pass discount I got 10% off about five euros off and yeah 40 euros honestly not too bad for the amount of food that I got so you can see this is why this is a popular place and has been a popular place for a lot of families especially because if it's a group of you as well you can actually share some of the food you can definitely share my starter and so you're not going to be paying too much and oh my god there's another song coming through this place is so loud that's actually one thing I don't like about this restaurant it's just too loud obviously right now because I'm on my own it's absolutely fine but if you come with people it's, you just can't hear the other person that well my friend Izzy and I experienced this when we were here in uh, June of 2022 you can check out the vlog we just it was just too loud and we couldn't actually converse as well as we wanted to and with that it is time to leave Planet Hollywood again you can see some of the props some of the outfits some of the cool movies 
the Hollywood celebrity stuff they've got going on here. They've got that football thing going on as well because of the World Cup, I guess. But on our way out, I thought I would show you the shop as well because they do actually have a shop. Also, look at that on the way down. Also, loads of posters as well of different films. There's the Rocky show, a Rain Man. Uh, what else have we got there? Oh, that's Tom Cruise and Rain Man. Now that makes sense, actually. So that probably makes absolutely no sense to you, but recently, about a month ago, I went to uh, Madame Tussauds with a friend of mine and I saw Tom Cruise's waxwork there and he was standing with an umbrella and that would make sense. They've got a poster of Toy Story 3, one of my favourite movies. Star Wars here, Viana or Moana as we know it in English. There's obviously lots going on, lots of Hollywood posters, films, different stuff, Gandhi, Midnight Cowboy, the sound of music over here. Just a lot and I can see why it would be very popular for families as well because it's a fun location for children like I said the food is something that more than likely they will enjoy but just the atmosphere as well it's loud obviously if you have sensory issues if you don't like it loud being in loud environments might not be for you but otherwise I see a lot of families with their kids kind of showing them the different props being like oh look at this this is from this movie look at that so it is a cool place to have in Disney it's a shame it's going even though it's not my favorite place definitely not my favorite restaurant here by any means I can see why a lot of families do enjoy it but just like that we are headed into the shop I love that see you in Anaheim Mickey Disneyland USA which is actually where I was at not so long ago make sure you check out my Disneyland Anaheim vlogs they are on my channel I uploaded them last month we got some photos of Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket here just different photos of I suppose when Planet Hollywood first opened here in Paris look at that the grand opening of it that's pretty cool a lot of historical things different celebrities over here as well yeah, there's a lot going on. There's Mickey up here. For me, Mickey is probably one of the biggest celebrities. There's Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's just a lot of people here. But let's quickly have a look at this small shop as well. So they have some Planet Hollywood t-shirts here for different countries, I guess. There's a USA one, Planet Hollywood surrounded by stars. And then they've got Planet Hollywood World Cup, Brazil, Planet Hollywood Paris. This would be quite a unique t-shirt, I suppose, to get. Planet Hollywood Paris, a lot of Paris merch. And then these ones, these hoodies, Planet Hollywood Disneyland Paris. So again, if you want like a souvenir item that you probably won't be able to get again, these hoodies could be a nice thing to get. They've got it in blue as well with the star. They seem like pretty decent quality too. Planet Hollywood Disneyland Paris. The price for them is 39.95 euros. So basically 40 I would say and look there's a few more of these uh, designs going on as well so here we've got another Planet Hollywood one with Disneyland Paris it's the t-shirt this one is about 25 euros and you can get that same logo on like a jumper type thing or this one here this one's quite nice I don't really quite get the hand thing it's obviously from a film but not really my thing there's a, a similar one in grey this one's 35 euros and yeah some more designs up here you can even get yourself a coat with Planet Hollywood on it this one's quite nice actually because the Planet Hollywood bit is embroidered so it's a Disneyland Paris sign actually what's uh, yeah okay five, 50 euros for this not too bad at all these like, like I said could be really nice exclusive souvenirs because you know this uh, restaurant Planet Hollywood will no longer exist in this land Paris so it's one of those things where for years to come you can kind of be like oh I was here when it still existed in Disney Village you can also get yourself some glasses 750 euros either just a normal regular glass this one also says Planet Hollywood this land Paris on it or some different ones different style ones this one actually has look at that the opening year of it 1996 is when this opened in Disney Village until 2023 which is when it's closing unfortunately I might have to get one of these actually even though I don't normally like using glasses of this sort it could be nice not a bad price either oh I might just have to get one of the caps here because I do enjoy wearing my caps and this one's nicely embroidered as well it says 7th of January Planet Hollywood 1996 to 2023 Disneyland Paris yeah this is probably something that I'm gonna take home with me as a nice little souvenir from this restaurant in Disney Village they do have a generic Paris one as well the Planet Hollywood Paris if you don't want the specific Disneyland Paris ones these ones are like for the closure they've been released for to kind of basically commemorate uh, Disney Village's Planet Hollywood over the past couple of decades or so but these ones are the Paris ones that they've been selling for a long long time but there you go here's one last look at the shop very quickly loving all the photos up there look at that there's Beauty and the Beast, Belle and the Beast. Loads of football stuff as well, again, because of their World Cup, Planet Hollywood Paris over there. And you can even get yourself some glasses. They actually do have the Planet Hollywood logo on them. Look at that. There you go. They've got Planet Hollywood on this side. 
this is what the front looks like. I'm not really a fan of this colour particularly. The reds and blues look good though. Oh, this is cute too. They're doing these mugs now. These very glittery mugs. 7th of January, Planet Hollywood, 1996 to 2023. I mean, these are extremely sparkly. I think I prefer the silver ones. I generally do prefer silver to gold down there. The mugs are 15 euros. I mean, you've, I've already shown you the glasses here as well. So I think I'm going to probably get one of the mugs and a cap as well. Why not, you know? Or I might get myself one of these t-shirts. These ones are 20 euros, 7th of January. It could be a nice little thing, momentum to have from this place. I don't know why I'm suddenly starting to feel a bit emotional. Like, I don't even like this restaurant, really. I do have some nice memories in here, though. Like I said, I did come here for our first meal of that trip in 2011 when I came here for my 21st birthday with my family. That was the last time I was actually here with my family. And like I said, even though it wasn't the best meal, I just have a nice memory of it anyway. Ooh. I've just seen this as well. What is this? I like my uh, hats, you know this. They're selling a beanie, but I can't really see anything about the beanie that says Planet Hollywood, personally. So maybe it's just a beanie because of how cold the weather is. Who knows? But um, yeah, Planet Hollywood has been around since 1996 in Disney Village. That's a long time, considering Disneyland Paris itself opened in 1992. So only about four years after the opening of Disneyland Paris, this Planet Hollywood restaurant opened up in Disney Village. But I may have bought a couple of things, which I am going to show you when I get back to my hotel so this is it goodbye to the shop let's leave the shop oh it is cold outside Lord have legit mercy so yes I did end up buying a couple of things just because I wanted to keep some souvenirs from Planet Hollywood the iconic Planet Hollywood I think more than anything I'm just gonna miss the exterior of this restaurant because honestly as I said I've only ever eaten there maybe about three or four times not a lot and I don't necessarily have like a lot of Disney memories in there apart from the few times that I've been there and they've all been you know pleasant enough but I've obviously walked past this giant ball, this giant planet at Disney Village many a time. So I think just not being able to walk past this, this beautiful restaurant from the outside, Planet Hollywood, is nice in the winter as well. And of course, this giant Planet Hollywood restaurant, which is where you go, the walkway that we went up to earlier. I am really interested to see what happens with this building, especially from the outside. Are they going to keep it in this giant ball situation? as a ball or are they going to change it i think it'll be cool if they just keep it as this maybe they can change it into a star wars restaurant because that could work as well with it being a planet who knows but one thing i know is that i am definitely going to miss it so <laughs> goodbye to you planet hollywood i mean this is whole thing is a part of disney village's changeover in the next few years disney village is going to be very much going under a big changeover cafe mickey is already closed that's going to be turning into a different restaurant we don't know yet what planet hollywood is going to be changing into who knows hopefully something cool it looks so cool with the projections look at that oh again just so weird not being able to see this restaurant again from the outside because it's kind of at the top of disney village as well it's right opposite annette's diner you can see annette's diner over there and then if you go that way you're basically going to be going into the park so yeah here's one last look at planet hollywood from this angle really really cool but of course i have my shopping to show you i was going to wait until i get to my hotel but i'm just excited to show it to you now hi how are you are you okay fine? yeah we've literally watched your video since june oh, it's our first thank time thank you here. so much we were, like, thank you we saw you earlier and i was too shy to say hello but oh. we saw you the fest, like, where did you see me earlier in Zadar? where the parade was oh, oh nice, nice. Yeah, nice to meet you, you anyway like, oh my god thank you yeah. what's your name megan megan nice megan, to meet you that's Asian. That's hi Asian. nice <laughs> to meet you did you want to be in the vlog yeah you can say a quick hi because i'm just about to film something hello Hello, this is Megan. Hello. She's awesome. <laughs> Love the scarf. Very Thank cute. you. Nothing high as well, actually. Thank Not even for Christmas. Yes. Very Best. cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for That's watching the videos, right. anyway. Yeah, did you want a yeah, picture? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all good? Yeah, thank How you long so are you guys here for? Uh, till Monday, isn't it? Yeah, same. Yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of your trip. Okay, yeah, yeah, you too. Bye-bye, nice bye. to meet you. Big shout out to Megan. It's always lovely meeting you guys, but I'm going to show you my little haul. I did spend a bit more than I thought I would. Of course, I got the hat, which I said I was going to get. I wear caps and hats all the time, especially in the summer months. And this one's just cute. Nicely embroidered, nice little souvenir to have. It's got the dates as well from 1996 to 2023, so I thought, why not? I also got the t-shirt that I showed you. I'm not gonna open it properly, but this one also has the dates from 20, from 1996, sorry, to 2023. I got the mug in the silver, and they gave me a new one actually from backstage, I suppose. I'm gonna quickly show that to you again. It looks really, really nice. I like the silver as well. Nice and sparkly. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to use this, to be honest, because I don't want to ruin it. I feel like I'm just gonna keep it as a nice little momentum 
of kind of Tollywood. And then last but not least, I got myself not only one, but two of these really fun Planet Hollywood Paris looking keychains. Look at that. It says Planet Hollywood. It's basically got the planet, the ball, which is literally what I'm standing in front of right now. Fun fact, they actually repainted the whole restaurant from the outside in 2021, so only a couple of years ago, which is why it's a big shame that this restaurant's closing because it looks so cool. Like It looks very new. It doesn't look dated or anything, at least not from the outside, but I've got two of these because one of them I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys. Literally, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and let me know if you want this. Just tell me like a fun memory that you have of Planet Hollywood or just something anything just let me know that you want to be entered in the competition to win this I've only got one obviously one is for me one will be given to one of you guys I thought it'd be a nice way for you guys to also celebrate the last day of Planet Hollywood in Disneyland Paris some of you probably have already eaten at Planet Hollywood so this could be a nice little souvenir to have and actually really fun fact for you this isn't just a keychain it's also a USB stick so there you go I think the, the cast member there said it's about 8 gig which is really fun for someone like me I just I'm transferring data all the time so very useful it's just cute you can just use it as a keychain if you wish to if you just plug it back in there you go that literally just looks like a normal keychain now nobody will even know that it's a USB thing <laughs> thank you <laughs> lovely cast members here but like I said if you want it to be a USB stick you can actually use it as well so it's not just a keychain and it's I think it's probably one of the coolest things to get from Planet Hollywood because it's actually the ball it's it's the planet it's a planet in the Disney, Disney Village Planet Hollywood so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you want one of these you'll be entered you can enter no matter where you are as well in the world because it's such a small thing hopefully it should be easy for me to send it to you I'll probably give it maybe 10 days no end of January end of January is when I'm gonna pick a winner completely randomly so yeah just let me know in the comments down below on YouTube but of course I also got the bag the bag the cast member there was like do you want an actual bag because they're nice and I was like you know what why not Planet Hollywood's got the Paris, it's a tote bag. They had a few with different colored handles. I went for the red one, because I thought red just worked really well. They didn't have a blue one, actually. I think they had red, orange, and yellow. But um, yeah, that's my little mini haul of the shop here at Planet Hollywood in Disney Village. But yes, that is it. That is it for Planet Hollywood here in Disney Village at Disneyland Paris. Look at it twinkling and sparkling there behind me. Like I said, I'm just gonna miss seeing it, you know? Not necessarily the food, not necessarily going inside the restaurant, but just walking past it. Reminds me of getting closer and closer to both parks. Well, Disney Studios and Disneyland Park, they are both kind of on that side. You can even see a little bit of Tower of Terror there behind me. So yeah, I'd love to know your comments down below as well as to what you think should replace Planet Hollywood down below. Also let me know if you've ever eaten at Planet Hollywood and what your experience was. Like I said, for me, it's never been one of the best food at Disneyland Paris, but I can see why for a lot of families it could work. I also just want to give a big shout out to all the cast members there, of course, for them. It's going to be the end of an era. It's going to be the end, the end of their life here working in Disneyland Paris, at Times Hollywood specifically. Hola. Hi, how are you? Hola. Hi, Hello. Speak Spanish? And uh, English. The English. Yeah. Yeah. We come from Spain. Yeah. And I see you in YouTube. Oh, thank you so because much. We want to uh, stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before I put YouTube and I find you. Thank you very much. And, yes, and now I saw you because. So nice to meet you. Thank Anyway, did you want to say hi to the vlog as well? Hi! Hello! Hi. Thank you guys. You'll see yourself in the Planet Hollywood vlog later. Gracias. Nice to meet you. Gracias. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, so, so lovely. But um, yeah, all the cast members at Planet Hollywood as well have been lovely. I also specifically want to give a big shout out to Mary, who was my server for the night. She was phenomenal. She was so lovely. I enjoyed chatting to her. And yeah, Mary, if you watch this, you're amazing. But yeah, everyone else as well who worked at Planet Hollywood, I hope you've had an amazing last night, last day working here, and you are going to be missed. Like I said, all my experiences there, even though I've not eaten there too much, too many times, the few times that I have been there, cast members have always been great. So that is it. Here is one last look at Planet Hollywood from the front over here. Also, I've spotted a couple of angels there. <laughs> These angels have been walking around Disney Village in the night time throughout the festive period, but this is what we care about tonight, right? Planet Hollywood with the awesome star up there as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. It always means a lot to me when you like, subscribe and comment, and also when you come up to me in the parks as well. It's always lovely putting a face to your name and just meeting you guys and having a little chat in person. But I appreciate you. I appreciate Disneyland Paris, of course, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog as well of my final time eating at Planet Hollywood in Disneyland Paris. Leave a comment down below if you want to be entered to win the little key ring or just any other thoughts you have about Planet Hollywood. I'm mainly curious to see what you guys think should replace Planet Hollywood because I can't really think of anything apart from Star Wars just because I want them to keep the kind of wall globe shaped uh, restaurant from the outside. I think it's going to be a shame if they change that. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below though. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.